pull out my big jacket as well. <laughs> oh, a little whiner is actually. No, we shouldn't complain. No, spring is actually uh, what, a couple weeks, three Just weeks. Around from the now? corner. Yeah. Yep. Uh, our panelists this morning, and thank you very much for joining us this morning. Brenda McSween is a sleep consultant and parent advisor with some great advice. Thank we, you. We love advice. <laughs> Uh, Beverly Huang is a naturopathic doctor who joins us this morning as well, too. And I am a little surprised, as maybe you're not, but I am surprised by our poll question. We'll get right. to that. Sure. It's good to have you again this, this morning. You. And Danita Kelly, who's a stay-at-home mom who joins us on panel this morning. Danita, where is your little one-year-old, Ivan? Uh, he's he's running around somewhere, somewhere with his dad because he's so close to a meltdown. Oh, no. <laughs> he missed his nap this morning coming out here. So. You should have met up with Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get him to nap in the car on the way here but there was too much action with the snow he hasn't seen much of it this year your first time mom yes it's yes. a challenge yes very challenging you get advice from everyone everyone yes and which <laughs> advice do you take no one's <laughs> <laughs> uh, I rely on a lot of like my naturopath doctor for one uh, some other groups that I'm part of and mostly my instincts like I think uh, that's something that we lost in our society over the last few years is our motherly instincts and to just be able to to, to calm myself from what society wants and expects from me as a mother and just go into what my son wants and needs from me as a mother. It's, it's a lot less stressful when you can find your, your inner you, I find. How fast has the last year gone? Uh, oh. Yeah, it's too, way too quick. Like, I blinked my eyes and it's done. I would do anything to go back to that moment of holding him in my arms right away. We, we forget about the things that are so easy to us, like getting in the car, driving off to go to the store. And now, with a newborn, as I'm sure all of you can relate to, is that the, and as myself as a parent as well too, is that that all changes. Oh yes. So that simple little five minute drive to the store turns into something longer. Yeah, not even just getting them into the car seat. You gotta get them dressed before you even get out of the house. <laughs> that sometimes is the biggest problem because they're pulling off their hat, they're pulling off their shoes. It's too hot for them and it's taking you 15 minutes to get them dressed just to go outside, so. It's fun. It's all worth it, though, definitely. Yeah. Support groups help. Yes. Aren't yes. you part of one in, on Facebook as well, too? Yeah, the uh, Calgary, I said, Calgary Babies 2013-2014. They are one of the best ones. They have a lot of events all over Calgary, so in any any corner yeah right there yeah any corner of the city you can always meet up with another mom to go do something because that's that's what is your biggest problem you're sitting at home with your baby and you're talking baby talk and mm -hmm. you're waiting for your man to get home so that you can pounce on him and have adult conversations so it's great to go out with these moms and have adult conversations while you're still having your baby right there i'm sure you're <laughs> even asking them questions yes you know like okay i've had this issue sleep mm -hmm. issues you know you should team up with brenda you should team up with these two <laughs> yeah. this is a perfect little group of yours right here yeah. you know and you just sort of bounce things off of each other it, it, it is helps, it's, it? it's also really good to to know what someone else is doing because it's it's mm. great to know what these three people are doing and I know what my soul says I want to do but it, it, what are you doing how did you make this work for you so it just it gives you more ideas to bounce off of with other people yeah. it gives you a light in the day right a break from yeah from your everyday I especially like the outings the outings are the best thing possible like everyone says oh it's great to get your kid out it's great for you to get out of the house and go and do something it doesn't matter if you're wandering around the Science Center Anything. Yeah. Just get out and do stuff. Brenda, you mentioned that as well too. Spend some time for me, yes. right? Yeah. Me time. Yeah. That yeah. is important. It's very important. Um, it's really hard to take care of others if you don't take your, care of yourself first. Mm -hmm. So I think it's very important that you take those things into consideration. So if you know you're a social person, finding those social opportunities for yourself and your child is yeah. key. Yeah, exactly. Beverly, here's something I'm sure you can relate to as well too, is the connection you have with your children. Yes. Or in your case, your child, but just that connection, that yeah. bond. It, it starts very early. It does. And it, it just can. carries itself through. It can. And I think um, I remember saying the same thing before our son was born was, well, we just kind of wish that we could rewind the tape for it to go back. But yeah. then I think what we realized was all the things that we don't know, we know exactly how it happens. So the first 14 months for you or, you know, the first, you know, 20 months with my at that point. But then you don't know what else is to come. So you don't have a good reference point as to, and as they grow older, it, it, it changes and it evolves and that, and for anyone to say, well, this age is more fun than this age, mm -hmm. it's all relative to, to that experience that you have, right? So you just don't know what it's like. So my daughter has a great imagination now. She introduced us to all of her imaginary friends and things I could never even imagine yeah. would happen, right? So it's, it's really a kind of a it's, a, it's a fantastic adventure. It's certainly a challenging yeah. one. 
-hmm. It doesn't come without its, you know, ups and downs, but that's part of the if that's you, part of the journey. If that's if that's the journey that you're choosing, then it, it'll be an interesting ride for sure. You know, I'm sure our mothers looked at each other and said, "You know, I remember when you were just this big." Oh, still friends. You know? Like my parents' friends still do that. Yeah. Yeah, you but, see them ten years later, and it's like, "Hey, <laughs> when did you grow?" Well, ten years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you find there's enough support in our city? Yes, sometimes mm -hmm. I feel like there's too much support. I know that sounds too a little much advice. Odd. No, too yeah. much advice, too much support. There's far too many moms groups. Yeah. There are way too many that all have their own perspective of things, mm -hmm. and a lot, a lot of times, like there's mummy wars going on right now. Sorry, mummy, mummy wars. Mummy wars. It's unbelievable. Like I just open my mouth and I'm judged just because I say this is how I choose to mm. parent my child, and it's. It's really great to find the mummy group that you connect with and then just enjoy time with them because if you spend all of your energy with mummy groups that are judging you, you are your self esteem is going nowhere and you're not building yourself up for your child. So Yeah, you were gonna say something to that, Beverly. Do you relate to a little bit to what you're I saying? I mean, I think we're fortunate. Um, we've discovered we actually have really fantastic neighbors. And I think part of it is the idea that it does take a village, yeah. right? Especially these days where you might, you don't, you know, each family's different as to if you have one parent or both parents that work outside of the home, or if you choose to socialize your child in different ways, whether that include different groups or um, a day home or a childcare or school. Like there's so many different options that are available now mm -hmm. that not every family is going to do it the same way. Exactly. And I think it doesn't, it's not necessarily automatic for any parent to recognize that what works for their family exactly. is what works. Is yeah. it, and I, it's funny that you say that because I say that all the time in practice, well, is this working for you? Yeah. yeah and yeah, if yeah. the answer is no, I'm like, okay, let's figure it out. But if this is working for you, and then, there's a lot right. of people that always want to do what their friends did or what mm. their mother did or their sister did and yeah. they're not focusing on what they want or what they see that their child needs because they're too busy trying to fit this image of what their family want for them. So I don't know how many times we got a phone call, you know, my I, I called my mom and say, you know, our, our little ones at the time are having issues with whatever mm -hmm. and she say, just, it's okay. It's okay. It's it's not the end of the world. You don't have to rush them to emergency. It's just it's some of the things that that kids go through. Parents can be that calming voice to put us in perspective and say, you know what? It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's going to happen. You know, little Johnny's going to cut his leg. Little Johnny's going to fall. Maybe even break something. But it's okay. Look at you. You grew up to be a fine young man. So why not? It'll it'll happen to any any kid. Why are you all laughing? Stop that. <laughs> You, of course, have hopes and aspirations for our kids that we want them to be good, we want them to be better, but we always do question ourselves, don't we? Yes, It doesn't yes. stop. No, the, it, even if you think you're doing the best for your child, you always question it. It's, it. Even when you're doing your job at work, you question, did I do it right? Is it perfect? Does, am I have a mistake? So, of course, that's going to carry on to when you're at home with your children. Like, did I say the right thing? Did I feed them the right meal? Is he going to bed at the right time? Did, did I, I give him the right medication? Exactly. Right. Did I give him the right amount of medication, too? There you too? go. Which leads us to our training poll question this morning. What type of medicine do you predominantly use? Is it modern medicine, ancient medicine, or what Kate uses, holistic or naturopathy medicine? Or do you use some of that ancient medicine? Uh, I can't say I've ever done anything with ancient medicine. Uh, I've done holistic <laughs> and modern type medicine, yeah. but can't say I've ever delved into ancient. Dr. Huang, you're suggesting a combination of all is probably the best route to go. Well, I think on the break we were talking that I'm not terribly surprised with the results of the survey so far. And I think in general, I'm, I'm generally not the first choice. I think I end up being part of the healthcare team that's helping them out. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we also talked about medical doctors here in Canada, we're fortunate enough that to have um, a system in place that our medical bills are covered. Right, exactly. and so coming to see a naturopathic doctor is not covered under Alberta Healthcare. Mm -hmm. um, we're covered under I'm covered under a lot of benefit plans through employee, um, like an employee employer benefit plan type thing. But that's not necessarily the case. So at some point there is an, there is a possibility that it becomes out of pocket, right? And so it's not that makes it a harder first choice, mm -hmm. I think, unless you have a really strong, you know, um, um, sense of what you want either for you or your family or your child as well too. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah, Brenda? Yeah, I agree. Um, so you, just asking about, like for us, we use a combination of modern medicine, and I haven't delved into ancient mm -hmm. as, as well, but naturopathic for sure. Mm -hmm. if, that's, if, if naturopathic is going to help, then we'll give it a try. Right. Anything to make my, little, my kids better. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> and that's what we want. We want our kids to feel better. And, mm -hmm. you know, if if a phone call to mom isn't good enough, no. then maybe it's a visit with a do naturopathic sure. doctor. Yep. Maybe it's a visit with a, a modern doctor. Or maybe it's a little uh, ancient medicine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever helps our kid feel better. 